Hey everybody! I finally got the package with all my makeup in it today. And like I promised, I got myself going through the haul. So, this is the first time I've opened it. I'm really excited. This got here really fast. Um, I would say within maybe a week. Maybe less than a week. And this is all the stuff I got. It's not a lot. It's a lot for me. Okay. So let's go through this. Okay. First thing that I got was the tone. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the sign. I got the tone correcting concealer. And I got it in ivory because I'm really pale. And then the next thing that I got is I got this hot pink nail polish that I got for my mom. I don't know if you guys can probably not see it because of the sun. But I'll take it out. Got it for my mom. Because she's trying to be sexy and stuff this year. And the packaging looks really nice. And this is cute little hot pink. It's really cute. The color on my camera is kind of faded. So, and then I got the golden bronzer. And I'm really fucking excited about this. Because, oh my god. Okay, I suggest you get things from the studio line. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you can see it's the golden bronzer. And basically, it's kind of like... Like a light brown. Here. Then it's more like a darker brown. And this is like a light beige. And then this one kind of has a reddish tone, kind of like like a burnt umber. But like I said, my camera is really kind of faded, and it's really bright outside. So, but the packaging in this is so very nice. Oh, I love the packaging in this. Okay. And then I got my nail polish because I was watching. Um, Julie G, I think 713, 713, something like that. And she was doing um, a tutorial where she was talking about coral. And even though I'm pale, I still love the color coral. And because she brought that up, I got this fire coral nail polish just because of her. Because she made me want it. Okay, and then for the free gift, I got a like candy Lipton, of course, because I filled out email addresses. And then I got um, their eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna take this out because I'm really finicky when it comes to my eyeshadow brushes, because I have really sensitive eyes, and if something is like too rough. It will just irritate the crap out of my eyes. Incredibly irritate my eyes. But so far, like, I would really... Just looking at all this stuff, I can tell that the studio line is probably a lot better quality. So, two bucks makes the difference. Apparently. Okay. So... It's not, it's not shedding, and, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty thin, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, if I was working with minerals, that it would hold a lot. So this is the original e.l.f. line eyeshadow brush. I might try and get the studio line as well. So, so far, so good. It's really soft. It doesn't shed which is really good. 
There's nothing more embarrassing, especially if you're like wetting your minerals, to have like little pieces of hair go off on your eyeshadow. I realize that I'm not looking at the cam. I've been looking at my screen thinking that I'm talking to you guys. And I'm not. So I'm sorry. And then I got me these two liquid eyeshadows. Okay, I got Green Machine and then I got Soul Tree Satin. And the Soul Tree Satin, I honestly, I don't think I can wait to use that. And if you want, I can do reviews on these two. Because this is the first time I've ever used this. So. Then I got the waterproof eyeliner pen. And I heard a lot of iffy reviews. And I was kind of worried. But now they have these little stickers on there that says new and improved formula. So. Maybe I won't be iffy just yet. And then I got the um, therapeutic conditioning balm. And I got it in vanilla cream. Because I'm not one to wear like colored colored lip stuff. I've always kind of gone bare lips. Like I would have really smoky eyes, but I would always have like either a neutral lip or bare lips because I'm just not a collar kind of person. And then the next thing I got is the waterproof lengthening mascara. And we're going to pull this sucker out of the box. And it looks like this. And it seems to have an incredibly long wand. I guess it kind of just, it looks about like any other eyeshadow wand, but maybe the formula is really good. I don't know. But we shall see. Because I need me some mascara because mine's been running you know how you put like you put the mascara on your upper lash and then you like you kind of put some on the lower and then by midday you have like a little raccoon eye up here and it like bleeds up here i've been having that problem and then last but not least i got the eyebrow treats and tame because like I told you guys, I had really light eyebrows. And... Oh wow, this is kind of cool. It feels like kind of rubbery, plastic-y. But I got the light because even though... Even though I want my eyebrows to show up more, I just... I don't... I don't look right with darker eyebrows. Naturally, I don't look right. Um, and I'm trying to go blonde again. Like, I just put um, lightener in my hair last night. And it lifted, like, a lot of the brown and the red shades that I had in my hair. After, um, what did I do? After I used Color Oops. So, I'm going to open this. And, oh, it looks like this. I can get it on there. And, you know what? I think I might end up doing a tutorial on all these things because I'm really fucking excited. Shh, sorry, I cussed. But, that's everything that I got. If you guys want a specific video, I'll do whatever. Because I know that a lot of times I don't get on cam and I don't have like a lot of makeup on, but doing makeup is something that I really love. And um, when I do do it, I don't ever get complaints. I just, I guess naturally I don't wear a lot. But I'm running out of time and I told you guys that I was going to do that. And I'm really, really, really excited. And I'm going to try these things out probably right now. So, um... Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.